I, I want it to be like an apple cinnamon pancake with maple syrup on it. And That's gonna get me effed up. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Steve Does Jobs. Today we'll be meeting with Bowman, a bartender at Southside Parlor. She'll be teaching me a thing or two about what spirits pair well together and how to make three holiday cocktails that will be a hit for any winter occasion. Lastly, I'll make my own signature cocktail for Bowman to try to see if it has what it takes to be on the Southside Parlor menu. Let's go. Hey Bowman, oh my gosh, hey. what's up? Oh hey, we're, gonna do, we're doing a hug, yes. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, tell me, how, how long have you been here at Southside? Uh, I've been here working for five years. Five years? Yeah. Very cool, so tell me about Southside. What do you guys specialize in? So Southside is an American cocktail bar. We're specializing in cocktails. Mm -hmm. Also, we have really nice uh, Texas inspired barbecue food menu. Okay, that's yeah. what the kitchen over there is for. Mm -hmm. So what are we gonna be doing today? So today, since Christmas and the New Year's Eve is around the corner, uh -huh. so we're gonna make some uh, holiday inspired uh, cocktails. And okay. the first day is a um, pulle, like, uh, you know, like similar to eggnog, but uh, we're gonna uh, put whole eggs inside the cocktail just for the fluffy texture and then uh, uh, smoothness. And then we're gonna put some brandy and spiced rum to get some toasty and okay. nice flavor. And I gotta remember all this stuff, sure. right? Cause yeah. I'm gonna watch you do it and then I'm gonna do it. So you gotta pay your attention. All right, I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm Let's ready. Let's do it. Yeah, sure. So we are gonna use a shark so this one is a brandy. Brandy. Yeah. You got an old king right here. <laughs> Napoleon. This... Oh, Napoleon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. 0.75. And then we got spiced rum here. Spiced rum. And 0.75, same amount. And also heavy cream. This is heavy cream. Yes. I like heavy cream. You know, it's like a dessert style cocktail. Okay. This one is, is a this rich brown syrup. Rich yeah. brown syrup. Yeah, rich brown syrup. And we got a poor brown syrup too. <laughs> so this is like the same syrup you put on pancakes, right? Yes. Yeah, like a caramel syrup. Aunt yeah. Jemima's. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Alright, cool. And the whole egg. Whole egg. That's yes. now I'm not gonna get salmonella, right? <laughs> nope. Okay. You're fine. Alright. <laughs> and first when you put the eggs inside, you yeah. don't shake it with the ice. Uh, you need to first the dry shake, which is just a dry shaking without uh, ice. Yes. Is there a technique that you got to do when you're shaking well, it? It depends on uh, bartenders. Some people, you know, shake it in like a Japanese shaking way. But it depends on bartenders. Like you can shake it in your own way. Yeah. But do There's... you have like Taylor Swift in the background? Just got a rhythm you going on. You can shake like this, like that. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't right. matter. Then get your nutmeg. And then we are gonna grate on top. Here is your flip. And that's it, huh? Mm -hmm. So that's a uh, an eggnog, like kind of special. With, yeah, heavy cream. Yeah. Eggnog, heavy cream syrup. Yes. So Let's it's called a uh, flip. Yeah. It's like, flip. oh yeah, flip style cocktail. All right. Can so, we try it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, that's strong. Oh, that, that, that <laughs> tastes like eggnog though, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're kind of similar. Mm. I really like the uh, syrup uh, that, that, mm -hmm, that's kind of balance out. Too. Yeah. And, and the, the nutmeg on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, that reminds me of just like Christmas, Christmas Eve. Yeah. Toasty by the fire, sipping on a flip with, uh, you know, Santa just coming down the <laughs> chimney. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's get, get on it. All right. So we got our cups. Mm hmm. So shaking. Yeah. Shaking. Okay. All right. We got this cup. So, um, yeah. we got the Napoleon. Mm -hmm. I remember the Napoleon. Napoleon is first. Yeah. One shot of that. Boom. Mm -hmm. And then we got the spiced rum. And the heavy cream, heavy one cream. ounce, yes. One ounce. Mm -hmm. If I can make a, the, the same cocktail, then I can work at Southside, right? Uh. Okay, so uh, maple syrup, no, that's mango. And uh, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna do a half 0.5 agave. 
and uh, I'm gonna do some, uh, where is my syrup? Rich brown? Yeah, I like that saucy. <laughs> what about you, Bowmean? You like it saucy? All right, egg. I, I remember the egg. Uh-huh. You gotta whip it up with a dry. Mm-hmm. See my shaking techniques? <laughs> you like that? Okay. Add some ice to it. Cool. One special cute cup. I think that's how it goes. Nutmeg. Hold up, backward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there we have yeah. our flip. Ta-da. By Steve. By Steve. I think I got a little skin in there too. <laughs> so you get a little piece of me, you know, in there. It tastes sweeter. Was it supposed to be? Rate me on my drink. Did I do it all right or? You pour like a double amount of syrup, but it's all good. It's dessert. Taco I like anyway. it syrupy though. <laughs> I mean, judging by the appearance of these two drinks, I would have to say. Identical. Yeah, I mean, they, they do look pretty. Yours looks a little bit more foamy. Too sweet? Next drink. For the second drink, we got mulled wine. Mulled yeah. wine? Mould, how do you spell that? Oh, M-U-L-L-E-D. Mould wine? Okay, what's mould wine? So you need a, you need a red wine. Uh, a a any, Cabernet or Merlot? Yeah, or? anything you want to make your mould wine out okay. of. And then you get your spices. So uh, we use uh, cinnamon and allspice and then sous vide for four hours. And then we put some orange cordial, house-made orange cordial. What is orange cordial? Orange cordial is uh, orange syrup that has uh, orange uh, fresh orange juice and some sugar. We are gonna boil a five ounce. So the bottom is two, two, and then this is one? One ounce, yes. Okay. Boil it, this one. To get some bubbles, uh, we have a house ginger beer. So I'm gonna put a little bit. Okay, and you make this ginger beer? Yeah, we make ginger beer. So ginger beer is like a ginger soda, uh -huh. like bubbly ginger soda. So when we're prepping this, uh, we make a ginger allspice syrup and sous vide for like four years, four hours. So our mulled wine is boiled. Yes. Ginger beer. This is interesting. I've never done soda and wine. It's like a sangria, but it's yeah, hot. It's a hot. So it's a hot sangria. Perfect. To warm you up. Whoa. Rosemary. Can I smell that? Yeah, okay. sure. I love rosemary. Cheers. You want to pat them a little bit to get the oil out? Ah. Yeah. Beautiful. It's cute. This is the mulled wine. All right, now time for the taste. Let's see how the mulled wine does for winter. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Got a cinnamon flavor. That's really good. Wow, that's delicious. And what's a good uh, combination with this for food? For this one, so uh, Thanksgiving, uh, we started selling this one as a special menu. Mm -hmm. You know, like a heavy meal, like um, uh, mainly with meat or anything. I guess it's my turn to uh, make the drinks then now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think I remember, but so we got our cup here. Gonna do five ounces. Mm -hmm. Two right here. Two, one. Oh, maybe you want to put a little more. <laughs> that was not full two ounce and one ounce, actually. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Nice. Steve does jobs. Okay, next step, 
totally forgot. Um, ginger beer. Got a little of that in there. I'll prep my uh, fruits now. Look at this, I'm behind the bar. Mm -hmm. Hey, what can I get for you? Mule one? You got it. One coming up right now. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look at that foaminess right there. All right, we're gonna do a little a whoop a de boop. Mm -hmm. Get our rosemary. Mm. Get that, that oils off of it. Plop that right in there. Right there. Like a little Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, we got our mealed wine. My Christmas tree, my little rosemary is all soaking wet. I, I, I put my, the end in the wrong way. Should have done it the right way. I don't, know. I don't taste it. I think I put a little too much ginger beer. Taste it. What do you think? It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. One mm -hmm. out of ten. Uh, no. Uh, so for the last one, we are yeah. going to make a Yuletide meal. Which Yuletide is, meal. Mm -hmm. okay. It's like a Moscow meal variation. Here we got a mix of blanc rum and a spice rum just to balance out the spiciness. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. In the, in the just one and a half pounds and in a milk cup. And then you want to fill it up with ice. And then for this cocktail as well, we're going to put the ginger beer. Okay. Yeah. Just top it up. All the way to the top. Mm -hmm. Mixer. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that Moscow mules are always served in like a bronze cup. Is there a reason for that? You know, it's like a copper cup. You yeah. can keep your cocktail super cold. Looks good. Also, at the same time, it keeps the temperature, the temperature of the cocktail cold yeah. for a longer time. It's got like uh, a bonanza feel to it. <laughs> awesome. Cinnamon. Torch. Mm -hmm. Just for the, you know, scent of the cocktail. Mm -hmm. I noticed that you never, like bartenders, they don't really like squeeze the lime. Mm -hmm. Like is that, is there a reason for that? Cause I love like for tacos, you know when you get tacos, they yeah. put a lime on the side. Like it pains me to see people that don't actually squeeze the lime juice on it. Customer yeah. can squeeze it. Yeah. yeah. If they want it more sour or in, you know, the balance they want. Okay. I definitely smell the ginger. It tastes like a Moscow mule, but it's more, I get more cinnamon notes mm -hmm. to it. More spice. More the, spice. Yeah, one base. The copper makes it like, my lips are just like cold. Because <laughs> I like it. Okay, even on a cold day, I would definitely order this. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, let's do it. And uh, ice, maybe not. I got our aged rum, one shot, I believe. I'm a little buzzed right now, so we're gonna do one and a half. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put some ice in there. So we got a lime, and I like to squeeze it, because that's just kind of the bartender I am. And uh, we got our cinnamon sticks. Pop it up right there. We got the mule tie mule right there. Mix that baby up, and there we go. How did nice. I do? Did Good I job. get all the measurements right? Not really. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you do the honors? Thank you. Can I sip it through this cinnamon stick? Yeah, you can try it. So, we've made our three Christmassy drinks. Mm -hmm. We had the eggnog special, yes. the mm -hmm. uh, mulled wine. wine, and then we had the... Now it's my turn to make a special drink for 2020 for Southside. Yes. Yeah? So I'm thinking using maple syrup. Yeah. A good combination with maple syrup would either be brandy or whiskey. 
-hmm. And so, or we can do, or we can do like brandy. Did I say brandy? I'll say brandy. Okay, yeah. and I want a little apple notes to it. Mm -hmm. So apple, maple syrup, brandy. Yeah. I want it to be one of those drinks where you can just sit by the fire and just, you know, watch the snow come down. You're looking out the window mm -hmm. and you're just sipping on your drink. Yeah. You, you get me right now? Yeah, yeah. Are you with me right yeah, now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I want it to be like an apple cinnamon pancake with maple syrup on it. And That's going to get me effed up. Here, if you want some apple note, we have a fresh apple cider. Apple cider? Mm hmm Okay. And we got the syrup. Yes. Brandy is? Yeah, okay. it's the same brandy we use for eggnog. Brandy, and then uh, let's do something crazy. Should, what if we did cream in there? Cream? Yeah, why not? Let's play. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, all right, um, a little bit of cream. That's a lot of cream. And uh, we're gonna do a little syrup in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we got apple up in here too. We're gonna hit, our, hit it up with some brandy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you recommend a dry shake or should we add some ice in it? Uh, first, dry shake because it's got some uh, heavy cream. So just, you know. Okay. Mix it up well and then get some texture for the cocktail. It's four cubes. Yeah, four cubes should be fine. And okay. then, you know, shake it short and harder. Okay. Short and harder. Uh, Alright. So. Choose a cup. Yes. I think this one's good. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's a move. Oh! <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> but you saw me, you know, using the tools in the right way. I thought you wanted to try. I was, I was actually, like, really looking forward to it. I was like, okay. I'll be Damn like, it, dude. I hope your boss isn't pissed. Okay. I want to garnish it off with like a little cinnamon too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I want to put a little nutmeg on top. This would look good if I didn't F up. Check that out. Yeah, it's like more yeah. than right there. I know. All right. We're going to try this. I'm really excited. All right. So spin it around. Do you feel like toasty and nice? That's super sweet. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's kind of good. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, it's like sweet eggnog with some apple cider. Yeah, it's like a sweet eggnog with some yeah. apple cider. <laughs> well, let's try it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely got some... All right, don't try it then. I see how it is. Actually, guys, I would just stick to the drinks that Southside's that Southside's <laughs> making because that was that was not that was not that great. Um, but yeah, thank you again for letting us come to Southside. If you guys are in Seoul, uh, you guys should definitely check out Southside. It's in Itaewon. You can't miss it. There's a big sign that says Southside, um, and uh, yeah, you, you're not gonna be disappointed at all. They got great seasonal drinks. I think number one cocktail bar in Seoul. Yay. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are in Seoul, definitely check out Bowman and she'll make you some bomb ass drinks. Thanks again. Thank you. And uh, see you next time. See you. See you guys.